Hi, I'm Jason Collins. And in this video, I work through some exponential discounting examples. Suppose we have an exponential discounter with discount factor delta equals 0 0.95 and utility each period of u of xn equals xn. They are offered two choices. Choice one, would this agent prefer $100 today? That is at t equals zero or $110 next week? That is at t equals one. To determine this, we calculate the discounted utility of each option. The agent will prefer the option with the highest discounted utility. The discounted utility of the $100 today is u naught equals of zero 100 equals u of 100 equals 100. The discounted utility of the $110 next week is u naught of one 110, which equals delta times the utility of 110, which equals 0 0.95 times 110, which equals 104.5. This exponential discounter will prefer to receive $110 next week as it leads to higher discounted utility. The second choice is whether this agent would prefer $100 next week at t equals one or $110 in two weeks at t equals two. The discounted utility of the $100 next week is is u1 of 1 100, u0 of 1 100 times delta of utility 100 equals 0 0.95 times 100 equals 95. The discounted utility of the $110 in two weeks is u0 of 2 1 110, which equals delta squared times utility of 110 equals 0 0.95 squared times 110, which equals 99.275. The exponential discounter will prefer to receive $110 in two weeks. The set of decisions across choice one and choice two are time consistent. If the agent selected $110 in two weeks for choice two and was given the chance to change their choice after one week, which is effectively choice one, they would not change their decision. This figure visualizes the effect of discounting in choice two. The two bars represent the options. $100 at t equals one and $110 at t equals two. The line from each represents the discounted value of that option at each time. For example, at t equals one, the discounted utility of the $100 received at t equals one is 100 and the discounted utility of the $110 received at t equals two is $104.50. We can read those values from the line. For any time t, we can determine which option would be preferred by seeing which line is higher. You will note that the two lines do not cross. For an exponential discounter, if one line is higher at any particular time, t, it is higher at all times. This figure visualizes choice one. The discounted value of the $100 received immediately is less than the discounted utility of the $110 in one week. Now for our second example. Again, we have an exponential discounter with discount factor Delta equals 0.95 per week and utility each period of UXN equals XN. They are offered $100 today. What sum would they need to be offered in one year, that is 52 weeks, to prefer that later payment to the $100 today? The discounted utility of the $100 today is U0 of 0, 100 equals utility 100 equals 100. The discounted utility of the sum Y received in 52 weeks is U0 of 52 Y equals delta to the power of 52 times U of Y, which equals 0 0.95 to the power of 52 times Y. So this agent will prefer Y dollars in 52 weeks if the utility of 52 Y dollars is greater than 100. Working through that, so where the utility of 50, utility of Y dollars in 52 weeks being greater than 100, we can simplify that down. So delta squared, oh, sorry, delta to the power of 52 times utility of Y dollars greater than 100, which it, that, that equates 0 0.95 to the power of 52 times Y greater than 100. And then in turn means that Y must be greater than 100 divided by 0 0.95 to the power of 52 or Y being greater than $1,440.03.
So that is, the agent would be willing to wait a year for payment if they were paid more than $1,440.03. This figure visualizes the problem. The bar at t equals 52 represents the $1,440.03 that the agent would need to be paid to prefer that payment to $100 today. The line extended back from that bar to t equals zero indicates the discounted value of that payment at any time t. At t equals zero, the discounted value of the $1,440.03 is $100. For this next example, suppose we have an exponential discounter with discount factor delta equals 0 0.75 and utility function for each period u of xn equals xn. Would this agent prefer $10 in five days, that is at t equals five, or $20 in 10 days, that is at t equals 10. The discounted utility of the $10 in five days is u naught of five at $10 equals delta to the power of five times utility of $10 equals 0 0.75 to the power of five times 10, which equals 2.37. The discounted utility of the $20 in 10 days is u naught of 10, uh, 20, which equals delta to the power of 10 times utility of $20, which equals 0 0.75 to the power of 10 times $20, which equals 1.13. Discounted utility is higher for the, for the $10 in five days. The agent will prefer to receive $10 in five days. This figure represents the choice of the agent. In this chart, the vertical bar represents the $10 in five days and the $20 in 10 days. The lines projecting back to t equals zero represents the discounted value of those payoffs at each time. When delta equals 0.75, the heavy discount to the more distant payoff means that it has a lower discounted utility than the smaller sooner payment of $10. What if the agent's discount rate is 0 0.95? In that case, the utility of $10 in five days, so u naught of five $10 equals delta to the five times u of $10, which equals 0 0.95 to the power of five times 10 equals 7.74. The discounted utility of the $20 in 10 days, which is u naught of 10, 10, uh, $20, we call, which equals delta to the 10 times u of $20, which equals 0 0.95 to the 10 times $20 equals 11.97. Discounted utility is higher for the $20 in 10 days. This agent will prefer to receive $20 in 10 days. This chart visualizes this decision. When delta equals 0 0.95, the discount is less severe than when delta equals 0 0.75 and the $20 in, in 10 days has higher discounted utility than the $10 in five days.